Welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the world's best quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. I'm so excited to let you know that we have added two amazing features in Smart Quiz Builder. Number one, now you can create and offer certificates to people that complete your quiz. And you can have all kinds of details in the certificate. You can fully customize it. You can upload your own certificate image. And it comes with a default image that looks pretty great. But if you want to update it, you can do that. You can add quiz title, and you can add the name of the person and their score and outcome and all kinds of details uh, in the certificate. Another thing we have done is now you can create a student dashboard. What this means is when your students log in right to WordPress and if you want to display a list of all the quizzes they have completed and if you want to show them the results of the quiz, what they got, what their score was, all of the details, now you can create a student facing dashboard that looks amazing, right? So they can log in there and they will find a list of all the quizzes and there'll be a product box for each one of the quizzes. And you can fully customize it. You can add an image for your quiz. It's going to show up there. And so you can show them all the quizzes they have completed and there will be a view result button that they can click on uh, to see the results. And another thing you can do here is you can use this to upsell other quizzes, right? This is a similar concept that's used in membership sites where when users log in, they see a list of all the products they have, but you can also use a you might be interested in section to showcase all the other products and services you have that the logged in member does not yet have. You can do the same thing with your quizzes now. You can show them all the quizzes they have completed, they have taken, and you can also have a you might be interested in these quizzes section where you can showcase all the other quizzes that you have or the logged in student has not taken yet. So now let me take you to the back end to show you step by step how easy it is to set this up. So this is the back end of Smart Quiz Builder. You can click on the student dashboard and it's going to bring you to a page like this. And I'm going to first show you the student dashboard and then I'll show you how you can do certificates. So this is uh, part of the latest version of SQB and currently it's version 28. So you need to be on SQB version 28 or above to use this feature. All right, so when you go here, you're going to first see a message that says you currently don't have any dashboard, click to create one and you can click on the button to create a new dashboard. Here I have already created one. I'm just going to edit and show you my settings. All right, so there are four different tabs here. Let's start with the general settings. So as I mentioned, there are two things you can do with the student dashboard. Number one, you can show them all the quizzes they have completed. Number two, you can also show them quizzes that you have that they might be interested in, but might not even be aware that you have it, right? And so you can showcase all the quizzes you have that they might not have completed or taken yet. So you can have two different sections. And in the customizer, you will find both of these sections, right? Completed quizzes might be interested in section. So what quizzes are displayed there, you can control it here in the first tab. Here you can say, show all the quizzes. And all quizzes does not mean everyone is going to see all the quizzes. It means uh, when a logged in member goes to the page where you have this, they are only going to see the quizzes they have completed, right? So all the quizzes they have completed. So SQB knows which ones they have completed. So it will just show them those quizzes in the completed section. And if you want to hide certain quizzes, you can select the quizzes that it will never show. Even if they have completed it, if you no longer want to show them those quizzes, then you can select the quizzes that you want to hide under the hide these quizzes section. In my case, what I have done is I have not selected all quizzes option. I like to select the ones uh, that I want to show specifically and control it that way. So here I have selected specific quizzes that I want to showcase in the front end. So if a logged in member has completed any of these quizzes that I have selected, they are going to see these quizzes in the front end under the completed quizzes section. I didn't select all. I have selected specific quizzes. So I have more control over it. Right? I know exactly what they are going to be seeing in the front end. So this is my preference and you can use all or whichever ones you like. You can customize it based on your specific needs. And under the show quizzes that the user has not yet taken, this is for the might be interested in section. So here again, I have selected the same quizzes. So if they have completed the quizzes, they're going to see it under completed section. And if the same quizzes they have not completed yet, then I want to show it under you might be interested in section. And this is for that quizzes that the user has not taken yet. And even in this section, you can hide specific quizzes. If you don't want to ever show specific quizzes, you can hide it. But in my case, I don't use the all option. So I don't have to hide specific quizzes because I have only selected the quizzes I want them to see. Then you can pick a name for your dashboard, give it any name you want, and then go to the customizer tab. There are two sections. This is just a placeholder image. In the front end, SQB will display the actual quiz image for each one of the quizzes. So they are going to see as many boxes 
as the quizzes they have completed, one box per quiz. And this is how it's going to look, but you can fully customize it. You can see the width, template alignment, background color, button customizer for completed quizzes, this one, view result, and the take this quiz button. You can customize the color. Everything is here. And image customizer, you can see here, you can adjust the height and the width. What I recommend for the image that goes on the student dashboard page is keep it consistent, right? Don't use different image sizes for each image. Use like 250 by 250 or like 350 by 350. Use small image and fully optimized image so the page will load fast. You don't want to use the image that you use for your actual quiz in the start screen because those are bigger images, right? So you want to optimize those images and reduce the size and try to keep them all consistent. Try to use the same size for all the images that you show here. Now, where do you upload the image that goes on the student dashboard that you do here in the settings? So let's go there. All right, settings. Here you can see all the quizzes I have selected in the front, in the general settings. It's going to show only those quizzes here because I only need to customize those specific quizzes. So here you can upload an image for your quiz. I have created these images in Canva. They're all the same size. So this is most useful for in-page quizzes where you can send people to a specific page where they can actually take the quiz. So when they click the take this quiz button, the you might be interested in section, where can they take the quiz? So this is the page to which they will be sent. For each quiz, you need to have a page where you have the quiz and you can send them there. So enter the URL of the page where they can take this quiz. For each quiz, make sure to enter the URL where they can actually take the quiz. I'll show you what this means in the front end in a bit. It'll be more clear to you. At the end, it's going to give you a short code, copy it and publish it on any page you want. So now SQB is not a membership plugin. It's just a quiz plugin, right? So it doesn't have a login page of itself. But if you use a membership site, for example, if you use DAP as your membership plugin, Digital Access Pass, and you have a login page where your members log in to access their products, then what you can do now is in your member dashboard, add a tab there for quizzes and add this short code there so they will find all the quizzes they have completed and also the quizzes that they might be interested in, right? So you can add it there. So you can see here, this is the front end. I have published uh, the short code right here. This is the student dashboard, a short code that I have published here, and this is how it looks. So these are the images I created in Canva. Like I said, try to use the same size uh, so it will look really nice like this. And uh, this is the quiz title and view result. Let me show you what happens when I click view result. As you can see, site pop up, right? And they can see uh, the quiz result. And here it says the quiz name, user details, quiz details, quiz result, and all the questions and what were their answer choices for each one of the questions. They will see all of it here. And if it's a scoring quiz, they will see their score and correct answer, incorrect answer. They will see everything here. All right, that's how it works. And if they have taken the same quiz multiple times, in this case, this is just a test quiz. I have taken it multiple times. And you can see here, every single attempt is showing up here. So what happened with this one? What happened with this one? I can find all of that here. So this is the dashboard. So here, currently, under you might be interested in section, there's nothing because I configured six quizzes, right? And all of these quizzes, I have actually completed all of these quizzes. I have taken all of these quizzes. So there's no quiz I haven't taken yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as a user who has not taken any of the quizzes. In that case, all the quizzes should now appear under the you might be interested in section. And then as I start completing the quizzes, it should show up under completed quizzes section. Let's test that. So you can see here, here I'm logged in as a user who has not taken any of the quizzes. So when they go to the student dashboard, they're going to find this you might be interested in. And they're going to see everything under the you might be interested in section. This is my membership site dashboard. You can see I have these tabs here, right? This is showing them all the products they have, right? Enrolled in, you might be interested in section, all of that. But this is for, but this is for membership products, freebies and paid products, courses and all of that. You can add another tab here and say quiz, you know, quiz dashboard. And in that tab, all you need is the short code that you get from SQB, publish that there. And so they are going to see this in that section, right? They're going to see this. So in this case, this student has not taken any of the quizzes. So everything is showing under, you might be interested in. I'm going to take this quiz and then we are going to check if it now shows this quiz under completed quizzes section. When I click on take quiz, it's going to send me to the page that I entered in the back end, right? In the settings I showed you. All right, you can see here, this is a quiz. I'm going to take the quiz. Just going to pick some random answers here. Complete the quiz. As you can see now, this is the student dashboard. I have completed this quiz, right? So it's now showing it under completed quizzes section and the 
five quizzes that I have not yet taken are here. This one has disappeared from here because I have taken the quiz. I can click on view result to see how I did, what were my answer choices and everything here. This is how easy it is to set it all up. So now let me show you how the certificate feature works. So now let me show you how you can create certificates, how you can customize it, how you can connect it to your quiz and how your students can download it and how you can customize the information that goes on the certificate and also how you can make uh, the certificate available only to people that have gotten a specific score, right? And so let me show you how you can set this up. It's really easy. So first thing you have to do is go to the settings page, advanced quiz settings, and then certificates tab. Here, give your certificate a name, enter your name here, and status, enable it, upload an image, logo image, and that's it. Second step is the certificate itself. And you can upload your own background image. If you don't like this one, you can upload your own image if you want. And everything is customized, personalized here. As you can see, percent percent name will be replaced by the student name in the front end. Quiz title will be replaced by the actual quiz name that they have completed. That's why you don't have to create multiple certificates. You can use the same one, but SQB will automatically show them the right name and the right quiz title and all of that in the front end when they download it, right? But if you want to create multiple certificates, that's fine too. You can create different types of certificates, one for each quiz and connect it to your quiz and students will be able to download that specific certificate when they complete it. Everything that you see here is fully customizable. You can move elements, you can hide elements, you can click and edit and change the text. So everything is fully customizable here and go ahead and save it. Once you create the certificate, the next step is when you go to the quiz, right, the quiz page. Here, this is one of my quizzes. I'm editing the quiz, basic settings, go to the display settings here. And if you go down, you will find a new enable certificates option here. Do you want to enable certificate for this course? Yes. And you can customize the button here, the download certificate button. It's going to show up on the outcome screen and they can download it, all right? And here you can connect it to the certificate, select a certificate. So here, I only have one here, so I have selected that one here. And again, you can create as many as you want, but you don't have to. You can use the same one for all of your quizzes and you can create and customize it in the settings page. I have done that already. So this is step two. Step one is to create the certificate, customize it in the settings page. Step two is to edit your quiz and enable the certificates option, customize the button and connect it to the certificate, right? The quiz to the certificate. So quiz to certificate connection happens here in the display settings tab of your quiz. Step number three is the last tab here in the outcome screen. You want to allow them to download, right? So there are five outcomes here. What I have done here is I've added this short code, download certificate PDF. This will become a button in the front end, the download button that we customize in the display settings. This will be replaced by the download button and they will be able to download it. And this is the short code. You will find it under personalization. Just grab this from here, enter it wherever you want it to show up on your outcome screen and whichever outcome screen you want, you can add the short code only on those outcome screens. So here, for example, if they get this specific outcome and you want to allow them to download it, just add it there. And if you don't want them to uh, be able to download certificate, if they get any other outcome, don't add the short code there. They will not see the download certificate button. All right. So if it's a scoring quiz, for example, and you only want to allow students that get a specific score or a, if their score is between a specific range, only they can download the certificate. In that case, so here you can create different outcomes, right? Based on the scoring range and allow them to download only if they get a specific score. So if the score is between, for example, 80 to 100, you have an outcome screen for that. Just enter the short code there in that and don't enter it anywhere else, all right? So that's another feature because it's short code based, you can decide where and who gets to download it and, right? So that's it, that's all you have to do. Now let's go ahead and test it. All right, so this is the quiz. I'm gonna complete this quiz, pick some random answers here. And I have connected it to the certificate. All right, so I've completed the quiz and you can see the download certificate button is right here. I can click on it to download it. And so this is the certificate, you can see here, name. And this is the name of the quiz, signature, finish date, everything is here. And all of this can be customized in the back end. So I recommend using the default options initially, see how it looks, and then you can always update it later, right? So really simple steps to do certificates in SQB now. And also the last thing I want to show you is the member uh, student dashboard, right? And now because I have completed the quiz and I've gotten a certificate, so when students, so when students go to the dashboard, 
under completed quizzes, they will find all the quizzes they have completed. But when they click on the view result, if they have earned a certificate, it's going to show them the download button right here. They can click on this download to download the certificate from here as well. So they can complete the quiz and instantly download certificate. And also in the student homepage, they can log in and download it uh, from there as well. So this is how it works. To summarize, for certificates, just go to the settings page, certificates tab. Here you can customize your certificate and save it. And then when you create your quiz in the display settings tab, you can enable the certificate option for that quiz, whichever uh, quiz where you want to allow them to download certificates, you can enable it and then customize it and just connect it to the certificate that you have created in the settings. So this quiz will be connected to that certificate. And then in the outcome screen, you can enter the short code and you don't have to allow them to download certificates under each outcome. Whichever ones make them certificate eligible, just enter the short code there. The short code is and the short code is right here under the personalization, under certificates, grab it and enter it anywhere you want on your outcome screen. And this will become a download button. And the download button is nothing but what you customize right here in the display settings, right? So it's going to look like this and you can customize it here and users will be able to download it. As far as the student dashboard, again, simple steps, you can go here to create a dashboard. It will bring you to the general settings. Select the quizzes you want to show them, completed quizzes, select the quizzes that they might not have completed yet. You can select which ones you want to show and customizer, you can customize the look and feel and settings. You can upload an image for the quizzes and again, use the same size images. It'll look really good. Quiz URL where you have published the quiz so that the take this quiz button in the you might be interested in section will send them here, right? Where they can take the quiz. Once they complete the quiz, it will show up under the completed section and then they can click on view result to see the result. It will give you a short code, publish it anywhere you want on your member dashboard and allow them to uh, see all the quizzes they have completed, view results and the ones they have not yet completed. They can easily find all those quizzes and they can take it. That's it. I hope this was helpful. As you can see, it's really easy to use both of these features. My name is Pina Prashant. If you have any questions, do let us know. Thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.